All right, now to a miraculous discovery of a baby and a toddler left behind a high school in Madison Heights. The hero who happened to find the small children is telling his story about those harrowing moments. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykat shows us how it all unfolded and where the case goes next. A driver's ed instructor says he never expected to find a baby and a toddler right here behind this school crying, but he's so glad he took a moment to stop and check. But I walk up, I'm like, wait a minute, I hear the noise again. I'm like, that's not cats. For driving instructor John Belia, it was a stunning discovery behind Lamphere High. As soon as I turn, I'm like, there they are. After hearing cries he thought came from cats, he quickly found the sound coming from two small children. Looked around, and I started screaming out if, if there's anybody around. I looked at the dumpster to see if anybody might have passed out or something, I don't know. And I looked around and no one was here and I realized they were left here. It was Saturday at about 1 p.m. when Belia and some students decided to enter the building to use the bathroom. Their actions leading to a determination the children were left alone in car seats. I want to cry, you know, so I'm, it, it's upsetting because it's heartbreaking that somebody did actually do that. It's unknown why they were left at that location, but we've learned the parents of the children were located. Law enforcement telling us a note was also left with them, and prosecutors confirmed 20-year-old mother Hannah Bell Sweggles is now in custody and has been charged with two counts of child abandonment and two counts of second-degree child abuse. That's when I realized they were abandoned, so I called Madison Heights Police Department, and I, with seconds they were here. It was amazing. and. Um, they did a terrific job taking care of the scene. I feel very fortunate because I do feel bad for the kids and for the and for the parents um, with what happened. And I have my own kids, and I just know that they mean the life of me, and and they're my world. We've learned that two-year-old and four-week-old have received care at the hospital and are listed as stable. CPS is now also involved in this case. From Madison Heights, Simon Shaykat, Seven Action News. All right, Simon, thank you.